I swear I'm going to find out a way to push this button more adequately. Um, it's Heisenberg! <laughs> Sorry. Um, hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Lovies. It's me, Cherie. Uh, I'm a little off today. <laughs> Feeling a little... Um, let's have some coffee. Mmm. I put whipped cream on the top this time. Delicious. Um, so I had this idea, um, for videos <laughs> that I was going to try out and see how I feel about it. Um, but I have been massively collecting stuff for the last couple months since I started YouTube. I kind of have overhauled all of my makeupness. Um, but I, I haven't really... I don't think I've adequately discussed the things that I've purchased other than just showing them to you in haul videos like, hey, look what I got and, um, and in favorites videos if stuff really worked for me. So I want to do like a weekly like highlight of something that I've purchased and I can actually tell you how I liked it and what I thought about it and, you know, what, what you should try maybe. Um, just so you guys get a feel of the stuff that I'm talking about and how I, I've actually used it and had a chance to fall in love with it. Why does my camera make that flashy thing? I don't know. Technology just, just makes me crazy. Um, but anyway, so I thought I would pick two or three products a week, um, maybe two that did work and then one that not, not so much worked, and then we'll just talk about them. And then, of course, if you in the past have uh, seen anything in a haul video, just comment down below if you want me to discuss how that's worked for me. Um, so far, because I really, you know, I want this channel to be informative. I don't want it to just be everything I've wasted my money on. Um, so anyway, so I'm just going to highlight some things that I've tried that I really love. And we'll see how this goes. Um, the first product I want to talk to you guys about, I actually just purchased this. So I've only used it once and I'm so impressed that I don't even need more time. <laughs> um, but it's this Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. I got this at Whole Foods. Um, there's a whole mineral fusion line. I believe they have makeup and nail polish. I could be wrong. Um, I have tried one of their nail polishes and I was not impressed, but I think it's because I bought like a sheer kind of glittery color and it would have taken like 17,000 coats to make the color that I was in the bottle. So I was not impressed with that. Um, but their nail polish remover is like a life changer. Um, I painted my nails for the first time in like like three months the other day and I decided it was time to take them off and I used this stuff and it took it off really fast it didn't have that like I mean it has a smell but it didn't have that like remover smell that mm -hmm. um, and it did not dry out my nails which is the problem with normal nail polish removers every time I remove my nail polish it makes my nails super brittle and I've really been trying to grow my nails out and I've been drinking gelatin and getting all sorts of vitamins and minerals in there and they're looking great and I did not want to paint them and then have them all break so when I removed it with this stuff it left this like it was almost oily it was like this glaze on top of my nails that was like a like a treatment of some sort it was just so moisturizing and they, they've not been brittle they didn't get crunchy nothing broke um, I'm just so impressed and I get all of my nail polish off with one cotton ball whoa <laughs> so I'm really impressed with this stuff I'm gonna look on Vitacost and see if they have it there of course because I don't really go to Whole Foods a lot because I don't live near Whole Foods and I want to say this is like seven something at Whole Foods so if it's on Vitacost it would be cheaper so I'm definitely gonna look for that um, but you should try it it's amazing and my lid isn't on, so I just poured some on my hand. So look how moisturizing that is. Um, <laughs> um, now it, and it has like a weird, like almost fruity smell. That's so weird. Like when it dries, it smells kind of fruity. Hmm. Thank you, Cap, for not being on, so I could adequately describe you. Let's we'll clean it off though, so we don't make a huge mess on my table. Go lay down. My dog really wants to come play. Um, I can't watch him and film because he's like eating everything on the floor. I digress. Um, the next product that has super worked for me, and I think I mentioned this in my favorites video, but again, that video was like 47 minutes long. Two internet cookies to you if you sat there through the whole thing. I think I'm going to start putting like sneaky pictures at the very end so like only people who comment who saw the picture I know watch the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, but this is the Death by Lavender um, by North Coast Organics. This has been my holy grail 
deodorant. It I put it on in the morning. It stays with me all day through outsideness and everything. Um, I just wish it was in stores is my only complaint because um, you have to order it from their website and it doesn't take like super long but still you know if you're in a deodorant situation it's a situation <laughs> um, but anyway so I've been really digging this uh, it doesn't take very much love how it feels it smells delicious delightful so put that in your armpits I think if you've been having trouble with natural deodorants that's been the best one that I have found so far and I have tried at least six <laughs> so ta-da <laughs> Let's have more coffee. <laughs> and I have one didn't work for me. Now before I talk about this, let me get comfy. <laughs> before I talk about this, because I love Pacifica, I love their lip glosses, I love their lip chapstick tinted things, their mascara is so far my holy grail for a natural. I keep looking at this thing because it's blinking at me. I don't know. Sorry guys. Anyway, but this product might work for you if you enjoy these types of products. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say, I'm wearing it today and I'm going to talk about their Alight Multi Mineral BB Cream. I think the packaging is really cute. Um, I really wanted to like it, but it is so light, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything on my face. And if you're going for that look, then that's totally fine. And if you're just around the house and you want some moisture, because this is, it does have kind of a greasy, moisturizing kind of feel. This could be good for you, but I am a full coverage lady. I don't want any of my ugly dots showing. This doesn't cover up anything. Um, I don't want my red cheeks. Well, I do have blush on, but like my red, my redness that's naturally in my face. I want that covered up. I am definitely like a make me look like I just rolled out of bed flawless kind of lady. And I've never found a BB cream that worked for me, but I was hopeful with this one because I heard so much good hype about it. And I like the idea of BB creams because they're just a little lighter and you don't have to put on like a full face of makeup. But I just did not dig it. I have this in a full size up there, but I have not opened it. I'm probably going to put it in like a giveaway or a tradey trade or something. I don't know. Um, maybe when I get to 500 subscribers, I can do like a massive giveaway. Um, but anyway, so I just, I was not impressed with this, but I don't really want to tell you not to go buy it because if you like BB creams, this is probably great. <laughs> That's also why I have not tried the Physicians Formula CC cream. I just, anything with BBs and CCs and AAs and DDs, I'm pretty sure it's, I don't like it. Um, they're not full, they're not enough coverage for me. And the CC creams and all that are just, I think they're a lie. I think they're putting Tintred moisturizer into a bottle and they're putting letters simultaneously next to each other and they're calling it something different and selling it for seven dollars more lies so I just have not been into it but you know maybe you will be and since we're here I'm gonna show you guys something that I purchased that I'm gonna try and then I'll do a video on it and let you know if it works or not um, but I actually saw this company on Ecoholic Beauty's Instagram and she Instagram a picture of theirs and a, she Instagrammed a picture of this and I was impressed. Um, so anyway, so I emailed the company and I asked if I could try some tri buy some trial sizes. You know that brain working too fast. Um, so they let me purchase two and then they gifted me two to try. Um, they do not sell these sizes like on their site, so I'm gonna try and do a serious business review so you can make an, an educated choice in your selections. Um, but the company is called Schmidt's Natural Deodorant. Ooh. And I'm pretty excited to try all of these um, because even though I love the North Coast Organics, I'm just, I want to keep my options open. You know, we're dating. It's new. We just had coffee. It's all right. Um, but anyway, the first scent, they do have a, um, um, a scent-free version, but I would never wear a scent-free version, so I didn't even attempt to try it. So if you want scent-free and these do work for me, then you should probably try that. Um, but the first one is the Yang Yang and Kalendua. Yang lang lang Um, and they come in these cute little pots. <sighs> this one smells <sighs> super good. It's um, it's really fresh. It smells very much like a like a traditional deodorant, like at the drugstore. Like it's just fresh and clean. Um, they say that you only need a pea size amount in each pit. So if these work for me, I could buy a large one, and it should probably last me like six months. Um, I've never used one in a pot before with my finger, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm curious. Uh, but this scent is really good, really clean, fresh. Kind of reminds me of like one of those like suave 
special edition scents for summer. Um, so it's very, I like it. I like that. That If you're into traditional, like store-bought deodorants, this would probably be a good scent for you to try. Um, the next one I picked up is Bergamot Lime. Ooh, and this one's really limey. I don't even smell any bergamot really. Um, but then again, I've never smelled straight up bergamot, so maybe I am smelling it and I just don't know. Um, but this one's very summer. It's uh, like a margarita. It's very limey. And it's just this little paste. Oh my goodness. This one I think will be great for summer. Um, very fresh. Very margarita-ish. Uh, the next one, I think this is like the man scent. It's cedarwood and juniper. And I just love man smell. <laughs> it smells like my husband after he's been downstairs like building things with wood and using saws. And like there's chunks of sawdust in his hair and his armpits are fresh. That's what it smells like. Um, I would wear this even though I think it's more of a manly scent but it really does smell like wood. It smells like straight up like workshop. Like wood workshop. Delicious. And then the next one is the one I think I'm going to like the most, and it's lavender and sage. I love lavender. I love sage. <sighs> it smells really good. <laughs> um, I don't really get the sage as much as the lavender, but it smells really yummy. So anyway, so I'm going to try these four scents. I might see if my husband, I wish my husband would try some of these products so I could tell you guys about it. You could buy it for your husband's, but he's so incorruptive. Um... But I'm going to get him to try this one, maybe. I'll just hold him down and stick it in his armpit. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So I had two yeses, one mm, probably not, at least not for me. And then I have four things that I'm going to try soon. So I hope you guys have a great week. And comment down below if there's something from past videos that you remember me hauling or talking about, maybe talking about, and you want to know how it worked for me. And I will get a video up for that next week. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you later. Bye. See, I just don't like it. Mm -mm. No, no, BB creams. There's not my friends. <laughs>